Joseph Peter, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Breaking news. Jada Pickett Smith reveals Chris Rock once asked her on a date amid rumors that she was getting a divorce from Will Smith. Man. Now that's crazy. And hear me out, guys. While I am slightly shocked about this revelation from Jada Pick, yo, she's a snitch. She's got more tea than most of these publications out here. If you've ever shot your shot at Jada Smith, you I know you're sitting there just shaking in your boots. <laughs> Can't tell Jada shit. <laughs> But while I am shocked about this, kind of believable. Why? Well, because, I don't know, I kind of view Chris Rock and Jada Smith kind of like that Helga from Hey Arnold situation, you know, where she's presenting it like, oh, he's obsessed with me. Why is he shooting a shot? What were you doing? Women. He's obsessed with you. Why? Why did that man feel comfortable shooting a shot at you? And I'm not surprised that a woman who Chris just looks at like, ugh. You piss me off. Also, he's like, uh, I'll do it. I'm just speaking honestly here, guys. This is not hard to believe. And this is Hollywood. Who knows what's going on in the background overall? But I'm curious, guys, as always, what do you think of this news? It was followed by a snippet of an article here that says, explaining more to people. She says, I think every summer all the reports would come out that me and Will were getting a divorce. In this particular summer, Chris, he thought that we were getting a divorce. Okay. So that makes sense. He assumed you guys were getting a divorce because he was reading it all over. Goes on to say, so he called me and basically he was like, I'd love to take you out. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, aren't you and Will getting a divorce? She responded and says, I was like, no, Chris, those are just rumors. He was appalled, she says, and he profusely apologized. And that was that. Well, until the Oscars, when he got slapped in the face. <laughs> it kind of makes sense, I guess. But, you know, this coupled with the new news that they were separated and obviously seeing other people makes it sort of confusing. My takeaway from this whole situation is if you want to make sure that you put yourself in a chaotic relationship, then do what they're doing, right? Do what Will Smith and his wife have done. Get married, separate, and don't agree on what the marriage is. Guys, I remember I did a video a while back of Will Smith talking about how when he met Jada, she looked at him and said she didn't want a traditional marriage. She didn't believe in that. She didn't believe in monogamy. She didn't believe in sleeping with one person for the rest of her life. You hear that from a woman who says she believes in marriage and then adds that on top of it? You're in for problems. These are the results. How many videos have I done on my channel on people who open up their marriages or partnerships which is what she was calling it whatever you want to call it it's a family and you're a man and a woman what does that usually equal it equals chaos and that's what we're seeing right here let's check out these comments and see what the people had to say and guys i have a video i'm going to play you after i read these comments so stay tuned this first comment just says jada please have mercy on will damn 21k like somebody else here says jada Please take us out the group chat. We are tired. Somebody else here says she talked too much. Another woman here commented and says, so this really why he slapped him, dot, dot, dot. Because why he tried to backdoor him. The laughing emojis, here's another comment that reads, one thing Jada gonna do is tell her juicy private business that no one asked for. Yes, yes, yes. Here's another comment that says, Jada, for the sake of humanity, please just stop talking. Here's another person who says that's why he called her bald-headed on national television <laughs> with a laughing emoji. Do you guys think this is true? Because I believe it. I don't think that Chris will respond, or maybe he will. I don't know. All right, but I don't think he'll respond to this. And I don't think he has to respond to this. And honestly, it's their fault. If your marriage, your relationship is in such gray areas, as far as like people not knowing if you're together or if you're not, and some people think you are, some people know the truth, some people don't know the truth then you can expect that you're going to have situations where somebody may be hitting on your wife because they think they know you guys are officially separated or divorced or whatever. It's just a bunch of confusion and obviously was bound to happen. What I also wanted to talk about was Will Smith's, we got to talk about Will because this woman has a hold on this man like no other. You know, you have all the rumors, people talking about how she, you know, put a spell on him and that's why he can't walk away. Well, I don't know about all that, but I do know that it looks like Will has had a history of pulling up on people who he thinks are trying to take Jada away from 
him. For example, Tommy Davidson, he recently spoke out. And if you don't know who Tommy Davidson is, he's an American actor and comedian. He was an original cast member on the sketch comedy TV show in Living Color. So, so the caption reads, Tommy Davidson recalls Will Smith approaching him in a trailer trying to beat him up for kissing Jada Pickett while filming. So my question here is, why was he turning up on a film set when it sounds like they were filming it was part of the scene it doesn't sound like it was something that was uncalled for or inappropriate it sounds like they were filming a scene for a show and he kissed her which also answers some questions i've personally had in the past like man i wonder how actors and actresses deal with the person they're dating making out with people on screen well, apparently they want to punch him in the face all right apparently they want to slap him or whatever will smith wanted to do to tommy davidson Shout out to Shannon Sharp, man. He's been having a lot of good guests on his show. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Me and um, um, Will had a run in. Yeah, when you, yeah, Carl, you try, yeah, yeah. You try to put his wife in a lip lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't find out that for 15 years because he never told me that. See, he came into the he came into the trailer and I was sitting down, right? He's standing over me like this, and he's like, "I oh, appreciate that, man." I don't appreciate that. And I'm like, well, what you talking about? I always know to play it off. Right. You know what I mean? Right, and I'm going, what's going on, man? Tell me what's happening, man. And since he was standing, yeah. and I was sitting, I was a real nice fella. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean that, that's, that's about physics, right? right? Right, right. So I'm like, you know, oh, man, what's going on, man? I mean, hey, man. He's like, I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And Jada's going, Will, Will, I'm saying, but um, I mean, what, what's happening, man? Now, yeah. you tell me what's happening. Hmm? Hmm? You know when a dude does yeah. this. He about, he about to his bottom lip. Mm -hmm. He about to do something bad. Do Let's check out the second video here from Tommy Davidson, guys. Do Tommy. something, right? So I'm, so I'm like, you know, I did the I did the whole, you remember the snake? Yeah. I did the snake. Well, well, what, you know, and got up. Right. And then I was like, you know, so what are you talking about, man? And I was still in that posture. So you didn't really know what he was actually talking I about. I didn't, did. but I know what he was doing. Right. So I was like, come on, man. I mean, what's up? Just tell me what's up. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. You know, so, so finally I just said, this is a small place and people are here. You want, we should talk about it. Right. Me and you outside because it right. looked like you could need to get something off okay. your chest. Right. right. And then Jada was like, oh, no, 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 y'all, no, y'all. And I was like, what do you mean, no, nah, y'all? Tell him. Tell him. And that was the end of that. Right. All right. So there you go. That's that altercation. I just saw the funniest comment while reading this, guys. This woman commented and says, Will attacks men the size of his wife because he hates her. <laughs> oh, these comments are hilarious. Yeah, he's got, it seems like he's got a knack for attacking comedians. Comedians are like classroom clowns. They're not fighters, you know, pulling up on comedians and they're probably worse people who were actually smashing his wife. Now we can confirm that for sure based on the news that's been made public. What do you guys think of this situation? Let's check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. The first commenter here says, this is a small place and it looked like you want to get something off your chest. Is a wild invitation to throw hands. Laugh out loud, Tommy Davidson is so underrated sometimes. Another person here says, the voodoo Jada got on Will is wild as F got my guy looking crazy. Some guys just have that thing in them where they snap, but you know, at the end of the day, people know who to snap on. And he obviously can control it because we would have heard about this. He, we would have heard about this happening more often if that wasn't the case. We have another guy here who says, okay, so I get it now. Dude's been trying Will over Jada for years. This man says, going back to Tupac, LOL. I got to fight every night to prove my love. Here's another comment that says, great interview. Tommy Davidson is one of the greatest entertainers ever. And his story is inspiring. That dude is a legend. That dude is a legend. Listen, guys, that's it. As always, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.